Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to Home and Beyond. Today we are continuing with Unit 6 from Cambridge Primary Science Learners Book 5 and exploring seasonal changes. Have you ever noticed that the sun rises and sets at different times throughout the year? Or how some animals disappear in winter and return in summer? That's because nature constantly adapts to the changing seasons. In this lesson, we will learn about sunrise and sunset times, how plants and animals adjust to different seasons, and why some animals migrate. So let's get started. 6.2 Seasonal Changes Getting started This is a picture of the sunrise. In which direction does the sun appear to rise? East what does the sun appear to do during the day? It moves across the sky. What does the sun appear to do in the evening? It sets in the west. Does the sun really move across the sky? Explain what causes day and night. No, the earth rotates causing day and night. Which month are summer month in your country? June, July and August. Talk about what you notice when summer turns into autumn. Leaves change color, the weather gets cooler, and days become shorter. Sunrise and Sunset Times Do you think the sun rises and sets at the same time every day of the year? Let's investigate. Think like a scientist. As humans, we wear different clothes in summer or winter and heat our homes if the winter is cold. We adapt to the changing weather, but how are plants and animals adapted to the seasons? How plants are adapted to the seasons? Look at the photograph at the start of the unit. It shows trees in Srinagar, Kashmir during autumn. In many parts of the world, autumn is a season when leaves change from green to yellow and red. Plant leaves are green because they contain a green substance called chlorophyll. The chlorophyll in leaves helps to produce food for the tree. During autumn, days become shorter and there is less sunlight. The leaves are no longer able to produce food for the tree. The chlorophyll begins to break down, leaving the leaves yellow and red and then brown. After a few weeks, the leaves fall off the tree. During the cold winter months, the tree has no leaves at all. It is dormant or sleeping. In spring, when the days begin to warm up, we see new leaf buds on the branches. By summer, the trees are covered in green leaves again. Activity 1 How plants are adapted to the seasons How animals are adapted to the seasons? Some animals cannot find food to eat during the winter. These animals have two choices to stay alive, stay where they are and hibernate or migrate to a warmer region. Hibernation Hibernation describes how the animal's body goes into a deep sleep for a long period of time. When an animal hibernates, its heart rate and breathing slow down and its temperature goes down. At the end of autumn, the days are getting shorter and colder. Animals like bears eat a lot of food to give them an extra layer of fat to help them survive the long cold winter. Other animals like mice collect a pile of nuts and seeds to last them through the winter. They find an underground home for the winter and go to sleep. When spring arrives, the animals wakes up. 
Migration When seasons change and there is no longer enough food to eat, some animals migrate to warmer regions where there is food. Animals that eat grass need a supply of grass all year round. But in many parts of the world, the grass dries up in the hot, dry summer. The animals have to walk long distances to a region where there is new grass to eat. This is called a migration. Look at the photograph below. It shows wildebeest in Central Africa. 2 million wildebeest migrate 3,000 km every year to find food. Their migration depends on the seasons and where the rains are. They know that the rains will bring new grass. Many different types of birds migrate. In late summer, as the days get shorter, many birds begin their migration. They eat more food so that they will have the strength to survive the long journey. Then huge numbers of them fly long distances to a place where there is food for them. For example, Siberian cranes migrate from Russia and Northern Europe to India. They leave at the end of summer and fly south to India where it is warm and they can find food. Activity 2. How animals are adapted to changes in seasons. Today we learned that seasonal changes affect the timing of sunrise and sunset and both plants and animals have amazing ways to adapt. Some animals grow thick fur in winter while others migrate to warmer places. Plants also adjust by shedding leaves or blooming at the right time. If you enjoyed today's lesson, don't forget to like, subscribe to Home and Beyond. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite season and why. See you in the next video. Keep learning. Allah Hafiz.